Hello mates, bonjour, let's do your notes for the 2nd of October, Saturday. Alright, let's start off with vocabulary and sentence construction again. So, merit. Merit is a noun. So what is merit? The plus points of something. If you have a proposal, it has a few good points, it has some plus points, those are the merits of that proposal. Right, so the quality of being good and deserving praise. A good feature of something. So these are all meanings of merit. Talent, a natural ability, or right, it should be natural ability of being able to do something well, a quality quality that you have that makes you do something well, all right, so that's your talent in that particular field or that particular arena, all right, so my friend is talent, talent is not a noun, sorry, my talent is not an adjective, it's a noun, you cannot say my friend is talent, my friend is talented, so... He has talent in something, in sports, for example. So, therefore, that makes him talented in sports. Yeah? These are all. The, these are the ways to put the information in different sentences. So, they have the same, pretty much the same meaning. All right, this proposal has its merits, but I am still not taking it up. I am turning it down. Why am I not? Why am I not taking it up? Why am I turning it down? Some reason. I don't know. The reason is not said in this sentence. All right, so. Mark must be commended for recognizing the fact that he simply does not possess the talent it takes to become a great musician. If he, so Mark perhaps wishes to be a great musician, but he must be commended for recognizing the fact that he simply does not possess the talent that it takes to become a great musician. All right, so moving on to number two, acknowledgement, noun. So, like I said, you say that you have received a parcel, a message, a notification. Somebody sends you a message, a notification, an email, a letter. So you acknowledge that I have received it. That's an acknowledgement, an act, act of accepting that something exists or is there. So, if something is there, you you acknowledge the fact that it is there. You acknowledge a person or you acknowledge the thing. All right, the act of thanking someone for something that they have done, that is also another meaning of acknowledgement. So, acknowledgement simply means that somebody else is there or somebody has done something for you and you thank them or somebody sends you a message, so you say, yes, thank you, I've got it, I've received your message. So, it will become clear in the example. So, I sent Jessica an invitation and she acknowledged it at once. All right, so she acknowledged it at once, whereas Sarah never bothered acknowledging. So I sent an invitation to Sarah and Jessica. Or maybe I sent it to more people, but we, we don't know that. This sentence does not say anything more than that. As for this sentence, I sent an uh, acknowledge. Uh, sorry, I sent a message or sorry, an invitation to Jessica and Sarah. Jessica acknowledged it at once, immediately. Whereas Sarah never bothered acknowledging, she never bothered replying, she never bothered saying, okay, I got it, nothing like that. Total silence, all right. So, some people never acknowledge my messages. That's how I know, they like me a lot. So, that is sarcasm. So, I explained what sarcasm was. That is a very good example that shows sarcasm. All right, number three, a silent acknowledgement is considered rude and arrogant in many cultures. So, like I said, watch out. Do not give or do not silently acknowledge things. Do not send out silent acknowledgements. Do not assume that the other person already knows, okay, that you've got a message. It's extremely rude. It's improper and it will get you into trouble for sure. Alright, so always acknowledge, always acknowledge, always say good morning, good evening, goodbye, have a good time, whatever, good night. If somebody sends you an email, say thank you for your email, I will, you know, whatever, I will look into it and I will reply soon, whatever, you know, somebody sends you an important message, especially when you're working in an office or you are working professionally, you are a businessman or something like that, businesswoman, whatever, always send out acknowledgements. Right, so resource, a supply of something that can be used to obtain or make other things. So we saw resources, we saw source a couple of weeks ago and last week we saw resource. 
so something that can be used to achieve an aim. Personal qualities that you have or somebody has that helps you deal with situations, different situations. Need not be all distressing situations. Perhaps you move to another country or to another city and you have some resources within you. You have some qualities that help you adapt to the, the, to the other culture, right? So that's also a resource. Suppose you're studying for a test. So books can be the resource for that test. They help you achieve something else. So they're all examples of resources. So let's see some sentences or examples. So USA is a resource-rich resource country. So is Russia. So both, both these countries have a lot of resources, natural resources. Oil and gas are natural resources. Some countries are destroying their natural resources by senselessly cutting down forests. So like I said, forests are also resources. So it's also resources. So you get wood, you get so many things from the forest. S steel is smelted out of iron. Oh, it is not a naturally occurring substance. What does that mean? It is not. So it is not a naturally occurring substance. It, that means you cannot dig a hole in the ground and find steel. You have to first mine the iron ore, then you have to smelt it down and into long process physical chemical process all right so let's do some parts of speech let's go on to part b so merit is the noun and merit is the verb as well number two talent noun talented adjective you cannot be a verb because you cannot really talent anything i, I talent you talent no it's not a verb so noun and adjective talented proposition is the noun propose is the verb proposal is the noun proposer is the person who proposes it that makes it a noun, right? Number five, acknowledgement is the noun and acknowledge is the word. Sometimes un unofficially you can use acknowledged as an adjective. But it's not uh, official, it's not very correct. Don't use it formally, don't use it in tests and anyth anything like that. So for tests and all that, just keep acknowledgement noun and acknowledge verb. Right, number six, commend, verb, commendable, adjective, commendably, adverb. Resource, noun, resourceful, adjective. Occurrence, noun, and occur, verb. All right, let's see some pronunciation. Part C. Talent, not talent. Open your mouth all, all the time. Talent, talented. Not talented, talented. Right, sir. And the ah ta open him out ta linted now you can go linted but go on, don't go talented that is not the correct pronunciation of talent or talented all right merit not merit not merit or anything like that merit short and crisp proposition proposition proposal proposition proposal acknowledge acknowledge so acknowledgement acknowledgement resource resource not resource that is something else that is that's another word resource it to somewhere to some other country that's resource this is resource z occur a occur and occurrence so watch out for the spelling of occur. Occur has one R, whereas occurrence has the double R over there. Right, so let's do some writing. Let's take a few sentences that we already did and let's change them. Rearrange them. Reform them, whatever. Form them again. Reform wouldn't be a suitable word for this thing. So ref so form them again oh. right so let's start off so number one this proposal has its merits but i'm still not taking it up i'm turning it down even though this proposal has its merits i am turning it down or you can even say even though i am even though sorry this proposal has its merits i am not taking it up and i'm turning it down whatever even though this proposal has its merits i am turning it down is the best and shortest sentence so we took this long sentence and we cut it down to give you the exact meaning but with fewer words. 
and like I always say that is the ultimate aim of English all right Mark must be commended for recognizing the fact that he simply does not possess the talent that it takes to become a great musician all right so there are three examples of how to change this long sentence all right so mark recognizes the fact that he simply does not possess the talent that it takes to become a great musician and for that he must be commended right so that's a way of changing it is it better i think in this case the first sentence is the best however if you get it in a test what are you going to do so you have to change it right so if the if, it, the, if the clue is or the hint is mark recognizes then that's how you go so one more way mark recognizes the fact that he simply does not possess the talent that it takes to become a great musician and he must be commended for that so in here it was and for that he must be commended and he must be commended for that all right and one final way of changing this sentence mark recognizes the fact that he simply does not possess the talent that it takes to become a great musician and that is commendable so i have used commendable instead of for that he must be commended he must be commended for that and all that and that is commendable what is that this thing that he recognizes the fact that he does not have a have the talent what it takes to become a great musician this entire thing is covered by that is commendable right sir try to understand the basics try to understand how the language is formed and everything becomes quite easy after that if you understand the basics if you do if you just try to do it mathematically it will never work always understand it and apply it never do mathematical equations of more mathematical formula in english or in any any other language for that matter all right some countries are destroying their natural resources by senselessly cutting down forests so what have i done here instead of saying destroying i have used depleting reducing it depleting it their natural resources by senselessly cutting down forests so this entire thing becomes through senseless deforestation right so that's another great way of cutting down the words making the sentence more complex however shorter and making the meaning much more clearer and crisper right so that's all for today's notes write your notes down watch all the videos watch the other batches videos and the other videos i put up have a good time and i'll see you in the next one bye bye adios